Alright, let's do it again. So I told you guys I was going to show you a better golem. Uh, we're just after Nether Road right now. So, uh, we don't, uh, we might have a flood of people coming in here. Uh, now for golems, um, there's a few main attacks. This is one of them that you want to dodge out of the way. Let's see if we can find the other ones here. That's another one, uh, the, the lava coming down from the top, and there's the last one where he uh, jumps forward. Uh, all three of those attacks really cause a lot of damage, so you want to look out for those. We had somebody else come in here from Slackers. Jeez, he's just giving us everything he's got today. And we're going to have the totem poles come up, and he just got me with that big attack right there. I might just keep attacking him and intentionally die and come back here. Yep. That's what I'm going to end up doing. We're going to return back to home base, but I know where this one is pretty close to our base anyway, so should be pretty easy to finish off next time around. Normally I would have gone after one of the totem poles, but since he caught me with that huge attack there, just going to return and come back. Look out. <laughs> ah. Hope I don't die on the second go around here. We're getting enough people, this shouldn't last very long. I might not make it back in if I die again, so we gotta be careful. Luckily, my stun attack will distract him while he's doing that lava thing. And he'll be dead. And that's it. I'll show you some of the other good stuff that we can get from... Uh, I'm done with, my, with everything. No more golems. No more nether road. If you get a lot of help, uh, again, that doesn't really last very long. Uh, we purchased quite a bit here. I'm not quite sure on the Holy Marks what they do yet. Again, uh, normally I buy everything that's uh, a gem. I bought the Magic Card coupon, bought gold, and uh, I'm not really in desperate need of Enhancement Stones right now or Perfect enha Enhancement Stones. That's worth... Uh, Five or 20 is worth four perfect enhancement stones and we are going to get one more um, equipment like I said pretty soon but uh, we have 470 perfect enhancement stones already so not really a big deal to me um, since we have a level 50 blueprint uh, in my hands right now let's go uh, to the auctioneer and let's talk about selling materials and BPs really quickly here too. Um, maybe this video will be more about the auctioneer than it was really about doing golems and merit <clears throat> since uh, it's pretty simple you just need to watch out for those attacks. Hi. Do you have something good? So we're gonna go in here <clears throat> Wow somebody is selling something for 2300 and that's not even a good blueprint. <laughs> so uh, we'll go over here to forging materials. Um, now, brass or gravel powder is always going to be pretty worthless. Not really whole, worth a lot. The, the biggest ones out of these, the, the most valuable one, especially early on in the server, is going to be mercury powder. Um, you'll see these sold for upwards of 75 to 100 diamonds right off the bat when people start hitting level 50 and going through their trials uh, but we have so many people selling that uh, again it's it's dropped off like a rock down to about five six seven diamonds in value 
Uh, then we've got uh, red iron and rock ore, and that's also pretty worthless, way down in the 30s and 20s. Yep, 20s. So the reason it's worthless is that you can't even use the auctioneer until you get to level 35 anyway. And again, we're not going to be making orange BPs in the in the 20s and 30s. We're only going to be making uh, weapon and ring BPs in the 40s and 50s. Uh, then we've got our silver ore here. That could be worth something. Uh, again, we have a lot of people, uh, enough people selling to where, you know, they're, they're actually, some of them are selling right on, on point here at two diamonds. The other ones here uh, is being sold for 23 diamonds. That's a little outrageous for silver ore since everybody has a ton of it. Uh, the other one that's worth uh, quite a bit is sulfur powder. Now you'll you'll see sulfur powder uh, sold for upwards of about 50 diamonds right when people are uh, starting to hit the 40s in a, in a new server. So a couple weeks in, if that, maybe a week into the server, you'll see a lot of sulfur powder being exchanged and sold. But again, we're ever uh, we have a lot of people in their 60s, so sulfur powder is really useless right by right uh, right about now uh, the only thing I could think of is people that are kind of lagging behind or new in the server um, are going to be buying blueprints um, so what I have here is the the torture gloves so we want to find out um, in the 50s how much and we can even switch we can even search over to the class for blood hunter here and find out exactly how much gloves are being sold for. Uh, 288, 173, 288, 230. Uh, y you know, 150 diamonds for a level 50 blueprint like this is pretty low. And that looks like what Unko there has sold it for is 130. And I think that's that's it. So we have four people selling 288 288 230 and 173 so we might even try to underbid that just by a little bit i'm not in desperate need of of diamonds anyway and somebody will enjoy this blueprint i'm sure with their alt or alternate character so we're going to go ahead and, and sell that. Now, normally, uh, right off the bat, when people are in their 50s, you'll see you'll see level 50 blueprints for weapons like this being sold of upwards of a 1,000 diamonds or even more. Um, if anybody sells for less than that, it's going to sell very quickly because it's underpriced. Uh, and w obviously way underpriced right now because in this server, it's, uh, it's definitely a buyer's market. So there we go. That is uh, your tutorial on how to do auctioneer. And then we can go in here and see what we are, what we have being sold already. Obviously, mercury powder. And and the biggest thing here uh, is that the only reason I'm even selling mercury powder for 15 diamonds is just to get my activity points for the day. Uh, you'll see that in here. Where is it? Make a sale in auctioneer store. It's worth 30 points activity points so no reason not to sell something during the day but try not to underprice your items at the same time so always know where that market is and uh, you'll be able to make some decent diamonds in the meantime again uh, VIP has some perks uh, probably the biggest perk I would say the VIP is the the HP potions uh, you get more and it gives you more uh, HP and power up and mana uh, the higher VIP you go uh, which is really useful in those uh, trial stages especially into chapter 8 or even 7 because uh, right away when we first hit chapter 7 uh, that chapter 7 trial can be pretty can be pretty tricky so you either want to find somebody on a different server that uh, can tank the boss for, for you or get a really basically the best party that you can from your from your guild uh, I will leave it at that uh, if you guys have any questions on VIP or diamonds um, feel free to leave a comment down below 
uh, ask a question, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video.